Right guys, sorry I've been away for a few weeks, but I've had stuff to sort out. But and today I'm going to show you how to make a coffin box like these. These are made out of cardboard, well this is made out of pretty much card and that's made out of cardboard. Um, with this one I had to put a tab on the back just to take it out and um, it fits right into the lid like that. This is great for uh, parties if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend that's into sort of stuff you don't have a box to give a present in this is perfect for it and uh, you can decorate any way you want like I said this is a card this is actually I'm going to show you I've got I've got some shavings in here at the minute well if you can see this is uh, <laughs> an ice lolly box out of that card and uh, I've not decorated the inside yet but that's what it is and as I previously did this one last night just the um, bottom of it but my camera my camera pretty much died out on me and I've had to redo it so I'm going to explain to you how to do it all in this one so this is, uh, like I said, the bottom part here, so this part, and this is the lid I'm making for it. What I did was measured out first, I measured out the top, uh, how big I wanted it to be, and I did that on the bottom as well, so I ended up with a rectangle as big as I wanted it, so the size I wanted. Then with these, how I made the hexagonal shape, I think it's called, yeah. Or where the shoulders would be. I uh, marked down how much I want, I think this is about, probably like three centimetres or so, like that. I marked down how much I wanted it to be, and I p took out one centimetre at the side, so that's one centimetre big. Then I marked it out that way, then marked it down, and uh, met them up at the bottom. <clears throat> and then what I did was pretty much this. So, that was this before I cut it out and everything. And as, as you can see, that's, that's what it looks like. And um, what I did, I measured, this is, which, this is about... Uh, three centimeters still, or I'm uh, two centimeters. I'm not quite sure. I just eyeballed it, and this is pretty much the flap that will go down to make the wall of it. And what I did was I went round um, the each measurement because you don't want it to be out of proportion. You don't want it. You don't want this side to be bigger than that side, otherwise it'll just won't shut right. I did that with this one, and uh, hang on a sec. <coughs> I did that with this, and as you can see, it doesn't exactly fit right. Here, fine. This, I didn't measure it right. It still works the same. And uh, what you have to do is, after, after you've got the measurement you want, get a tri-square if you can, or just a ruler. <coughs> and um, you measure, well, you put right angles and all of it so with this this these two uh, top and bottom ones here it was kind of easy all I had to do was follow this line all the way up to the edge same here and that got me that one I um, had to turn the whole thing around put right angles here so I just put lines here and went all around it doing that and for the purpose of this video, I coloured the size that you need to cut out black, so you can see what I had to do. Then once you've cut those out, you can literally fold it over, and uh, <clears throat> it will make the rest of the coffin. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it out and show you. Alright, so that's what it looks like all cut out. And um, I'm sorry about my camera, I've seen my other videos, I've checked them 
and my camera looks really really drunk <laughs> but I'm shooting on YouTube capture so if anyone else is doing that that's what I'm dealing with but anyway that's that is going to be the lid for, my ba for the base of it now all I've got to do is take a straight edge or ruler and flatten these outwards like that so the design of whatever you cut it out of is inside and um, it's yeah I was going to say something then but I forgot but to, you can make this out of card I'm, I'm, and you can make this out of cereal boxes I'm literally just doing this because this is what I could find but if you're doing it out of cardboard like I said the material is thicker and it'll be it will be more challenging to do but uh, you can still do it nonetheless and plus I might spray paint one of these in a bit and the design is totally up to you obviously but um, yeah I'm just gonna bend these over tape put, put tape on the edges and I'll show you what that looks like <laughs> 